we're going to take a look at just a few pages from DC's Vertigo, uh, Shade the Changing Man, number 49. Okay. And this was part five. I believe this was a, a season in hell. Okay, this is part five. So we're not going to give too much spoilers uh, in this. Okay, I believe this is a six issue uh, story arc that ends part six with number 50. This is Shade the Changing Man, number 50. And this is a very important issue. Okay, very important issue. Uh, much happens in this to many of the main characters okay that's the only spoiler i'm going to give you and the titles of these things of number 50 is love labors lost loves labor lost but let's have a read through issue number 49 just a few pages and just to let you know in this issue the conversation we're gonna read is the conversation between shade and in issue 49 his partner the blonde girl that you see here okay so these are the two characters that are the main characters in the few pages that we're about to read okay and this character let me show you that's her right there okay and they meet up basically in either the first or second issue of shade the changing man when the series first began so shade and um the girl is Kathy. It's got to be Kathy. My, the name is skipping me right now. Um, but they're both right from the get go. They're uh, they're there. Okay. Oh, Elder God's coming in. Love's labor lost. Is Shakespeare missing manuscript? Really? I have no idea. Wow, wow, wow. Very cool, very cool. So let's put this one away. And we're picking up in sort of mid story here. And the only background you need to know for this, the only background you need to know for this is that they're together. Okay. And this $20 bill that is going to be the central focus of the story has been appearing in the last few issues at random points where she has been looking at it and thinking and talking to herself and all we know so far we don't know anything about this $20 bill other than it was important to her and it is important to her okay that's it and all we're gonna do is read like uh, I think it's like five pages okay and I titled this thing the bookmark is life and this is the hotel they've been staying in It, and it, they own the hotel by the way it's not it's not an open hotel it's just they own the hotel and they live there it's strange how the hotel has been so hot recently yet now the air around it is so cold the steam hangs from their mouths like comic book word balloons the west wings untouched we could move back, move back in right away, Shade says. No, I don't want to stay here tonight. I just want to pick up a few things, 
from my room and just so you know there's there was a fire in the hotel in the previous issue okay and she's going into the hotel to pick something up or some stuff up and shade is waiting outside The bill seems oddly crisper than usual, but old Hickory's face is still intact. Unlike poor Shimmy's. And Shimmy is another character in the, in the story arc. And then they go back to the hotel they're staying at right now later in adjoining but separate rooms motel faced she stares at the bill The first time I saw it, I was just 17 years old, she says. So, what's so important about it? Shade asks. I could find out, you know. I could eat it or something and intuitively know its rel relevance to you. Now, keep in mind, they're partners right now she's actually pregnant with shade's child i know she says but it's going to sound really stupid good i need something really stupid right now shade says well i was at a party i didn't want to be at with my parents whom i didn't particularly want to be with it's hard to admit when your parents are dead that there was times when you couldn't stand them she says looking at the $20 bill remembering the past the party was up was at one of their friends houses and the average age was about 90 we were fighting I forgot what we were fighting about but at the time I was the most important thing in the world it was the most important thing in the world the point of it was that they were treating me like a child a little girl I said something about chains or or straight jackets or fascism which as they were good liberals always managed to piss them off I left them and went to cool off in the garden which was the size of a small farm it was a beautiful night but I didn't see it this guy was smoking a joint down by a really uh, cutesy ornamental pond he was about my age I didn't say a word to him not a single word when I sat down beside him he handed me the joint as though I'd been there all along he blew smoke out of one nostril then the other I was impressed though I tried not to show it
five minutes later, we were doing it. We still hadn't said a word. He didn't even bother taking, we didn't even bother taking our clothes off. I was smiling partly because I was little high but mostly because I was thinking about my parents in the in the house and what they would think if they could see me now this is me I thought I'm liberated I do what I want she said we still hadn't said a word as the boy hitched up his pants he pushed the hand into a pocket he pulled something out it was a twenty dollar bill and he threw it at me he threw it at me and turned and walked away. And I just sat there holding the bill, staring at it, not believing it. The bastard had changed everything. It was no longer an act of liberation, a sign of my own self-determination. He turned it into something grubby. I had had sex for money. There I was, thinking I made some kind of brilliant gesture, and he turns around and pisses on it. So it's the past. Forget it, Shade says. But it's not just the past, she replies. All we seem to be are empty gestures. Look at Shimmy today. He tries to save Lily, who finds her own way out and ends up getting torched for his efforts. An empty gesture, that's all, she says. You're blowing things out of proportion, Kathy. That's my job, Shade replies. No, and look at me, and this baby. Whatever I think, whatever I try to do, life might just turn around and, and hitch up its pants and throw me a $20 bill, she says. What are you doing shade replies another empty empty gesture what else i could bring myself i could bring myself to do this before she says She can feel herself crying as she throws the bill away. It's always a melancholy occasion when you let go of the past, however unsavory that past might be. Another piece of old skin, the dead, a little more dead. She really has no idea quite what or whom she's crying for. Take your pick, she thinks. Take your pick. 